What is going on guys? Nipsey here bringing you another team builder for this week against Patters and the Newcastle Nittle Kings. Now folks, Patters team as you can see it's right over here. Boom. Pretty damn powerful team. Amoongus, Mega Dancy, Quagsire, Infernape, Crest, Haxorus, him on top, Dog Trio, A Aaron, Electivire, Miss Magus, Ursaring, and that is his team, folks. So, looking at this team, I'm thinking to myself right now, the six mods I think he's bringing is definitely Mega Dancy, Haxorus, Crest, Infernape, Quag, and Amoongus. Those are the six mods I'm calling right now, but, um... So, I'll plan it according to that. I made this team above me with Dragalge being a last minute addition. I have no idea what my six book going to be. I knew I wanted these five right off the bat. So, um, let me explain these five first and then I'll get into the, um, uh, why I just went with Dragalge as the last mod. So, with that being said, we got Mega Zam right off the bat. As you guys are probably thinking, Nips, why didn't you run an energy ball on, uh, on Zam for Quagsire? And to you I say, hold on one second, we got, why is that, no, that's supposed to be Substitute, Psychic, Shadow Ball, Hidden Ball, uh, Hidden Power. Let me just change, that's gonna buy my OCD right now. Uh, we got Substitute, uh, Psychic, Shadow Ball, and Hidden Power Steel. Now let me explain right now why I chose this moveset. Energy Ball, yes, it does indeed Oko the, uh, the, um, Quagsire, but the thing is, the thing is, He's never going to leave Quagsire in against Alakazam. He's never going to switch in Quagsire to the Alakazam. And regardless if he does, Psychic does roughly like 80, 85 to 90% with a good roll. So no matter what, he's getting two-shotted. And if he's already hurt, he's going to die to a Psychic. A modest Psychic. Uh, that's why it's behind me. You guys are going to see all oh, the moves there. But there's a modest Psychic coming at uh, Quagsire. It's going to do well over half. It does, like I said, 85 to 90% with a good roll. And it's going to be a two-shot no matter what. If he has damage on him, he's going to drop dead. So, Energy Ball is really not something I want on the Zam. I'd rather have Psychic, uh, Shadow Ball, and Hidden Power Steel. Uh, big, another reason why I don't want Energy Ball on this thing is because I don't want to be walled completely by the Cresselia. I know he's bringing Crest. That's his one good thing to knock off Weavile. Such as my Weavile, say. I'm going to hurt that hard. We'll get, we'll get there in a bit. But Shadow Ball at least allows me to damage Cresselia pretty well. Hidden Power Steel, Oko is Diancy. Uh, and Psychic is just stab hits everything pretty damn well. There's no switch he has besides Cresselia for Mega Alakazam. So, that is my moveset right there. Uh, Modest Zam. The only thing bad is that, uh, is that, uh, Doug Trio. Since I'm running Modest Zam, Doug Trio outspeeds Zam before Mega Evolve. So I gotta make sure I Mega Evolve Zam as soon as possible before Doug Trio gets out there and, uh, and kills me. So. That's one little note about being modest, but regardless, I think I'm pretty good to go with the beautiful Mega Zam being modest with this niche, this uh, moose right here. Next up, we have Weavile. A very odd Weavile, if you will. A very odd Weavile, if you will. We have Natty Gift Grass, Knockoff, Ice Shard, Acid Crash, Raw Berry. Now, Natural Gifts, I, uh, I counted it wrong. I thought it Oko Quagsire. Uh, I, I, I don't know what I did instead by, by accident, but... I definitely cut it wrong. Did that matter in the battle? Who knows? We'll find out. Do I even get the natural gift off on Quagsire? You guys will find out tomorrow. But we have natural gift gas. Uh, gas. The natural gift grass. And uh, Ross Berry gives me the grass typing for natural gift, which is freaking awesome. Say Quagsire goes down and out before I even get Weaver on the field. Ross Berry prevents burns, which is awesome because if you try to burn me with maybe, uh, Miss Maggie's? Or maybe a flame orb switcheroo or something like that. I don't know. If somehow I get burnt on Weaver, it ain't gonna happen because I got a Rossberry on myself. Regardless, natural gift, grass, doing a lot of damage to that Quagsire. Like I said, I thought it O code. I don't know what I typed in instead by accident on the um on the Pokemon calculator. And uh, I thought it, I thought it O code. But like I said, does that matter? We'll find out tomorrow, baby. We'll find out if we even got natural gift off tomorrow in the battle. So we got Knockoff, obviously, Ashard, obviously, and Icicle Crash, obviously, Adamant, Weavile. Oh, no, I'm running Jolly Weavile. I forgot I'm running Jolly Weavile because I need to outspeed the trio so I can Ice Shard him uh, before he second punches me or vice versa, whatever. I outspeed the trio by one point. Um, I have 190 in speed. The rest of the player got 52 attack, 190 in speed, and the rest is um, in HP. Something like that. I, I think I did something like that. Don't worry about the EVs here. It's Adamant, uh, 22 speed, two, uh, two, not 52 speed. Whatever speed at Adamant Nature or Jolly Nature makes it 190. And then obviously 252 in sack and the rest of the HP to make me uh, an odd number of HP so the rocks don't do uh, as much as I can. Then we got Golbat. Standard good old Golbat. Brave Bird, Defog, Super Fang, and Roost. 
I really, really want to run Hayes on Golbet. I really do, because I feel like uh, he could set up maybe sub, sub combine Miss Magius, combine Cresselia. Uh, he could even go for like those boosts on Diancie if he gets like those Diamond Storm defensive boosts and whatnot. Um, also, he could run Swords of Inferno, which is probably unlikely. Haxorus, uh, Dragon Dance Haxorus. I kind of want to bring Hayes on, on, on my Golbat, but like... It's just tough. Golbat is basically like a five moves in your mind right here. Like, I want U-Turn. I want Roost. I want Super Fang. I want Brave Bird. I want U-Turn. I say U-Turn already. I want Haze. I want, like, I want Toxic. There's a lot, a lot, a lot I want in this thing, but he definitely has a, a solid four set uh, move syndrome. So, uh, four slot move syndrome. But here's what I went with standard, uh, standard Golbat. Uh, I think it was 124 defense, 130 switch of defense, and uh, 22 HP. Whoever makes his HP out at level 50. He's impish. And he's here to just super fang things like Cresselia, Brave Bird, and keep rocks off the side of the field. Because I have Weavile uh, and Chandler, and I, I want them to have as much HP as possible. Because I have Weavile and Chandler, huge assets to my team this week. And I want to keep them healthy whole and 100%, folks. So, stand the goal bad, and I really wanted to go Haze, but I opted not to because I already have Whirlwinds on the Paladon. Same, same, same high Paladon as last week. Uh, fully defensive, fully 52 defense, 52 HP. Warman, Earthquake, Slack Off, uh, Stealth Rock. Like I said, the only thing bad with this Paladon is that I cannot do anything to Cresselia because of Levitate. The uh, only thing I do is blow it away if it goes to Calm Eyes, I can blow it away, but other than that, I can't do anything to Crest. I can't do a thing to Crest, hence why my Weavile, Zam, and Shandy are here to do something big to Crest. And even your Gouge, but we're gonna go over your Gouge last, like I said. The Paladon kind of walls everything, uh, it, it eats up Hexer's attacks, uh, eats up Dark Trio's attacks easily. Even Aerodactyls, Electivire, uh, Infernape, I'm scared, you might have Grass on Infernape, but if you don't, I destroy Infernape every day of the week with Hippowdom. Uh, Quagsire, I really can't stand it staying against you, but the thing is, I outspeed, uh, I outspeed Quagsire, so if it comes down to me being, uh, uh, low, if he's at low HP and I can outspeed and kill him, I'll go for the EQ and kill it. Uh, if not, I will switch out into Dragal, not Dragal, it's probably Golbat or Zam, maybe he has, maybe he has Water Absorb over, over, excuse me, maybe he has Water Absorb over, um, Unaware, so go always trace that. And, <clears throat> and tracing unaware uh, against that Quagsire will be huge. So, say if he sets up with somebody like Cress or or, uh, or uh, uh, Haxorus, I could uh, trace unaware and just have it sit on the field so he can't so his boots go away. Very unlikely to happen, but you never know. You never know, you never know, you never know. And then we got Shandy. Shandy is huge this week. Energy Ball, Shadow Ball, Flamethrower covers your whole entire team. Covers your whole entire team. Uh, Flash Fire. Uh, I'm rocking no, no, no combine. I'm rocking energy ball over combine, obviously, because uh, energy ball Oko is Quagsire. Shadow Ball does a lot to Crest and Fernape, the whole entire cast. Uh, Flamethrower for another stab. There's a whole entire, a lot of damage to the whole entire cast again. Uh, there's no switch for you with the Chandelier. There's no switch you have. There's none at all besides maybe a Assault Vest Hitmonsop or. Yeah, it's like really nothing but that and a Quagsire, but Quagsire gets a sped engine ball, goodbye, so long, farewell. So, we're rocking Shandy! We're rocking this Shandy, a perfect coverage for this week, hopefully it puts in the work for us. Uh, he has lefties on him, uh, he's timid as well, like I have behind my head, and those are the exact EV, same as last week, just instead of calm on, we have energy ball, and hopefully we get some big damage off of Shandy, take some names and put in that work, baby, because we have Shandy being a huge win con this week. And then, like I said, guys, I had no idea I wanted to bring it for my last mod. I knew I wanted these five right off the bat. I knew I definitely wanted these five. And I'm thinking maybe I bring Kingler, because I could like, do a lot of damage with Knock Off. On, I could Crab Hammer Knock Off Cresselia. I could Agility Off. I could get Swords Dance. And like maybe I bring Leafeon. I could go Swords with Leafeon. But then, because uh, Leafeon could destroy Quagsire. Uh, he, could, he could X as a Cresselia. He could Knock Off Cresselia or any mod that I want. But at the same time, he brings in Infernape against, uh, uh, against the... Um, Leaf Yana brings in Cresselia. Yeah, you got one X's are up. I'm so specially frail. I'm gonna die in one shot. Uh, he brings in Amoongus. I can't do anything to Amoongus. He brings in Diante. Yeah, I could Leaf Blade. You're gonna get killed one shot by, by a Moon Blast or something. Like, it's very tough. I wanted to bring Leaf Yana. I wanted to bring Kingler. I wanted to bring Sock again. I'm like, uh, Sock. What do I do with Sock? What do I do with Sock? Like, Sock is cute and all. I could, like, mm, he's kind of wall kind of easily. I could run Scarf Sock, but uh, I, don't, I didn't feel Sock this week. I really didn't. Uh, I could have brought Umbreon. I uh, was so gonna bring in Curse, Baton Pass, Umbreon, but who, like with, this, with those five I have, who's gonna benefit off a Curse the most? Weavile, but like, 
Uh, I, I still get Oko by Weave, uh, uh, Cresselia's Moonblast that plus one or even neutral, depending on how we invest, and then I get one knockoff off. And uh, if you even have an item on you, uh, it's not gonna do that much regardless. So like, it's just it's just it's just tough. It's just tough for my last month. I'm with your gal for the hell of it. This is the moose that he has. I don't like it. It's not great, but it's it's um, that's ability and wall breaking. You never know when this might be necessary or when it might help. Who knows? We got Draco, we got Sludge Wave, we got Icy Wind, and we got Hidden Power uh, Grass for the Quagsire. Cause I outspeed Quagsire, brings Quagsire to EQ, maybe go Hidden Power Grass is dead. Uh, Draco Meter obvious, Sludge Wave obvious, and Icy Wind. Maybe before I drop, I'm gonna drop dead. I barely have an attack. I get Icy Wind off, lower your speed. Somebody else comes in and then uh, outspeeds because of Icy Wind. Who knows? I just went for the LOLs in this thing. I really don't know what to bring as my last mom. Um, but this is right. This is my team this week, guys. Hopefully, it pays off against Patters and the New Castle Nitter Kings. Uh, what am I worried about the most? I'm worried about Doug Trio outspeeding me early game. I need to get Mega Exam off right off the bat. Um, but at the same time, I'm not too scared because the Paddock could, uh, if Paddock could definitely eat up all, anything the Trio does. But I just want to make sure Mega Zam can make Evolve and outspeed what he needs to outspeed. Otherwise, I'm in big trouble. Shandy, I got to play smart. Shandy can't let him drop dead easily. I need him around for crests. I need him around for everything, literally. I need, I need Shandy to uh, survive and, uh, and, uh, put in the work for me. Is Natural Gift going to come into effect against Patters? Who knows? We'll find out tomorrow. Uh, but I did, if that situation does come, up, come about, I did set it up. I, I did set up uh, Weeva to take on Quagsire. Or so I thought, because I thought, um, after I rerun my calcs, uh, before I recorded this video, I'm like, oh, that doesn't kill. And I still have to change my team because I already gened it. So, that is what it is, folks. And, uh, as always, I'm Nips. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little, uh, video of, um, my team for this week. It's going to be a good battle. It's going to be a good battle. Patters, we are 0 3 against Patters, I think, in the. In the in the in the in the in the little cup we lost them twice and the UCL season one we lost as well. So with that being said and done folks, I'm Nips. I'm getting at it for now. Love your faces. We'll see you tomorrow for the actual battle. Let me know what you think with this team's demo in the comments. I'll catch you guys later. Have a great day. Peace out and enjoy your day, my friends.